show a healthy respect for anything is good. And Joe Enter just went straight as an arrow right down that track. Looked like the weight was pretty good. My guess is Joe's thinking, man, I could probably do just a little bit different. But he's the test puller right here, so he might have the opportunity to find out. We'll find out what he wants to do. That's a pretty good pass. Anybody Absolutely. else you want to thank, sir? Yeah, we got to thank NTPA, Case IH, Budweiser, uh, Simpico Oil. They just give me some great oil. Robbie Lemke and his guys for giving me all the good motor parts. Weimer Diesel Turbo for the turbo and pumps. And uh, uh, just everybody. I'm tickled to death. I know that uh, the other half said home. In right the Lander ride. that pretty oh solid solid yes. pass smooth never missed a beat nicely done pot for the alumni 50 50 raffle is nine hundred dollars it's saturday night toma we can do better than that we can do better than nine hundred dollars it's 1700 it. last night i know and if you'll turn your attention back to our winner's circle, we're going to turn the microphone over here to our representative from Brickle Brothers. He will make the presentation to our second place finisher, Mike Connie. Thank you. Lead in the class of 317.58. This is Tyler Slaw. Have no mercy. They finished 12th in session number two. going to be right down there in that neighborhood as well I tell you Tyler just makes he is he is not patient they get that hook drop he tightens it up there and he is ready to go I mean there is no doubt about it and there's no there's no uh, finesse or baby in anything it is push it forward and be along for the ride and he is dad Bruce Law have done such a great job with both of their mini rods throughout the past couple of years they really have an outstanding outstanding relationship and a uh, they're here to win. Exactly right. Henry Everman's final decision at 255, 230, 255, 230. If you will pay it goes down it. that track. Ken's going to tighten the chain. Very interesting this afternoon. Had a chance to look out of the Kenny Mack Tower out of our back window, right into where Ken was sitting. He had a tablet. He was sitting in a chair. And he was Tough break right there for our winner the other night. As the funny little farm all tied for first coming into this session. But Did you see Miss Rona shaking her head at him down there? Hands yeah. on her hips and shaking her head. Yep. She is so disgusted with well, him. Well, you know, if you look at the replay right here, he kind of had to do a little steering input. Didn't look too bad, but it cost him distance. And she Three, knew ten, that. And seven. She knew that. How many years has she placed him on the track, told him where to drive? And it works, usually. Bruce Barfnick with just one more, that International 55, 88 at 173, 370. the cowboy up right there and I have to correct something he was fifth in uh, Cloverdale and uh, ninth here in Toma so he's another one of those guys get in measurable from. distance but well it's better than a scratch you look at it from that standpoint
Adam Bauer, 304.41. 304.41 for Adam Bauer. That'll put him right now in fifth. Four and nine, two ninety four point nine for Grayson Shelton. Sixth place right now. So Team Lambda continues to hold the lead at three seventeen point five. And Adam Kester coming up next and walk the line. Kent Payne takes the Super Rooster down to a two eighty four and five. A guy who makes his living building some pretty awesome Poland motors. Let's see. What he Let's him get out and run a little bit, but when you get down there right near that 300 foot mark, that box tops out and it starts to slow you down in a hurry. That was a pretty nice looking pass, weight balance wise. And my guess is when they get down to the last puller in this class, that's his father, they will have more than enough input to be able to see what they can do in another great, great run. Three eleven and five. Three eleven point five five for walk the line, and that will put him in second place as he bumps Ken Vinny down to third. Camille Shelton on the way next in Splinter. We will see what she can do here. But again, a little bit of an ignition issue on the starting. Line. build the fire in that cylinder and then you try and put it out. A water valve can be a tricky rascal sometimes. It comes on either manually, it comes on with manifold pressure, or it can come on with a manifold heat. And he did a great job driving that mini Moline tonight, folks. Let's give him a nice round of applause. Russ Yoder. Chase Richardson, 295. It's oh. nice pass, and I believe that's who's still holding on to that number one position, the D drink tractor. And now we get ready to bring the Boer family. They come to us as well from the Netherlands.
Folks, we remind you to visit ntpapool.com, ntpapool.com to learn more about where we are heading over the course of the summer. I say that for Brett Bird. Brett Bird doing about the same thing over here on the mini rod track. Guys, you got to wonder as you think about this here, at the very moment that RJ Simon is about to get into the throttle, Brett Berg is in his throttle. You got to be able to focus. You got to have tunnel vision straight down the track as you've got your official standing there, green flag ready to go, and it's flying. And we're going to race a truck in a modified Mini. There's no question about it. And R.J. Simon, of course, had to focus and dial in. And as Mr. Washburn said, he's looking to sweep this weekend. And just as fate would have it, he's the very first hook. Well, our Mini rods right now, we're in that 295-foot mark. Camille Shelton went 303. That was one, two, three hooks ago. And since that time, 295, 296.7, and 296. Point Eight, eight. That's what Brett Berg just did, and that will put him in eighth. Knock it, Barry Board, down to nine. David Richardson. David Richardson. Make your way back here when you get just a second, sir, to the announcers area. The class. down that front end right there for the Iron Boys. Two ninety and nine for the Iron Boy right there. And that'll put him unofficially in twelve. On the line. Oh, shucks. Let's see what happens there. Is he out of it or was he just wild? We'll find out trackside here. Sam McCrary finished 17th the other night. Out of Prospect, Ohio. This is for him at 109, 129 feet and some change. That was a wild ride. He stepped hard on it to try to keep it in bounds and uh, a tough, tough break for him. 13th place as it stands right now with about seven left. Has to shut it off because it comes up quick when those tires are up in the air. When you go wheels up, you got to be prepared for that. And he certainly was as he laid off the throttle there. Travis Hosley's distance at 278, 860. And we're back at the milestone materials winner's circle now. We pass the microphone off for our presentation of the Superstock Diesel Tractor Class winner. Well, guys, uh, two nights in a row you're standing up here looking at a first place trophy. Uh, couldn't, couldn't be happier for this team. The 
gotta love the iron boy sled. It lets these mini rods get those wheels up, get out, and run. But when that box tops out, the, the old friction's gonna take over and you're gonna slow down something quick. Chris Burnett finished second over at Ellsworth and 18th here in Toma. We'll have another hook from the Shelton family coming up. And then back-to-back uh, -back runs by the Kesters. And we will have a rehook. Sam McCrary will be coming back. He has dropped into the class. For Little Disaster, 288 and 5. 288, 555. The bottom's up four, comes out of near Strand, Minnesota. Dustin Amundsen in the driver's seat of this one. 307 of Roger Simons is all we have as a distance out beyond 300 places above Kent Benny. Well, you saw that long leg reach up there in Stab that brake a little bit as he started to drift towards that left sideline. That's going to cost you some distance there. It looks as if Camille is going to be the class of the family in this night at 3.03 and 4. He immediately put his hands to his head there as well as he knew maybe he, you know, as he had a pass of everything you want. They moved him out of the groove up here where they were starting just a little bit different spot. Everybody's getting down here as well, but he even drifted a little bit. That tractor was yep. turning with the sled pushing him. So unfortunately, it's not exactly what he was hoping for. Trying something different, that's your hope for sure. And we're gonna go ahead and make our way to our winner's circle, ground round, folks. And I've had the experience of eating there this week already. They are our sponsor of our unlimited class and we present our first place award to Mr. Adam Bauer out of Peyton, Iowa. Congratulations. And I'd keep an eye on both the uh, guys from Turbocharged mini rod there, and you can see them rocking back and forth. One wheel in it, one wheel in it, one wheel in it. The other one coming out through. But, you know, you're in the state. You need to make you a... Uh, a pretty good pass. Kester out of Waysville, Indiana. This tractor currently in eight. The Beast of Burden currently eighth in Grand National Points and lays down a pretty nice pass as well. But trying to get the balance worked out there. I talked to him yesterday briefly. I said, pal, the horsepower seemed to be there. We didn't get the front wheels up off the ground very much. And he said, yeah. He said, we just got to keep working, getting things dialed in. He said, I just got a couple of gremlins we're working out yet. So another similar pass. The front end never really did lift too high for him. But uh, certainly when he called on the horsepower, it is there. And we'll see just how far he goes. 292.94 for Marty Clock just like a clockwork out of Hartford City, Indiana. Nice pass, but I wasn't real sure what was going on. It didn't sound like that machine normally does. That Chevrolet always sounds powerful. It just sounded like it was here. Adam Kester, 296. That's a lot better there, 
for Sam McCrary and making sense. As I mentioned earlier, the uh, one of the hallmarks of 50 years of pulling with NTPA is that we try to give every single competitor the opportunity to make a pass. And so Sam had a tough break there. Didn't go as 100 feet, so he drops. And he has only one attempt there. He took that attempt and actually was able to run it straight. That means we will have one competitor left. And that competitor is a guy who's won championships and is uh, really the face of uh, polling in a number of different venues. It is the uh, Footloose Ride. Larry Kester and Kesters is number two right now. So that is a great, great opportunity. Here we go. Yeah, the old dreaded letters, the old EQ right there next to him. Unfortunately there, folks, that is what you want to see for Mr. Larry. Folks, you can hear you right now. Put your hand together for a true class action. Chevrolet machine out of Waverly, Iowa, 279-805. Ladies and gentlemen, here's how they finish. The Beast of Burton, Adam Kester, finishes in 10th at 296 even. Barry Bohr, the Bobcat Junior at 296 and 7. Brett Berg, the LGC's ride at 296 and 8. Camille Shelton is Splinter at 303 and 4. Anna Bauer, Cowboy Up, 304 and 4. Joe Etter, the Polar Air, which seems like he pulled yesterday. Joe Etter, 309 and 7. Tied for third place, Tyler Slaw and Ken Vinny, 310.725. Adam Kester finishes second with Walk the Line, 311.5. And Gert Denerick, your winner here, Team Landa from the Netherlands, 317.580. Next up on the Bud Light track, it will be our Super Semis. <laughs> 